welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. Let's turn to our Bible reading for today. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 to 18. Today I'm reading from the New International Version. Present weakness and resurrection life. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways. We do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present, present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. Verse 5 says, You see, we don't go around preaching about ourselves. We preach that Jesus Christ is Lord and we ourselves are your servants for Jesus' sake. Some celebrities have a reputation for being divas. Life and everything and everyone else revolves around them and their needs. That's not how it is for followers of Jesus. Paul's focus was on Christ, not on himself. Wherever and whenever he preached, he pointed to Jesus. He didn't try to be over-intellectual, he didn't search for the most eloquent phrase he could think of. He preached Jesus Christ, his life, his death, and his resurrection. Paul's whole emphasis was on the essential truths of the gospel. Jesus Christ's death on a cross provides salvation to all who believe. Paul could have leaned on his authority as an apostle. He could have persuaded the Corinthians to accept what he was saying because he was their God-appointed leader and teacher. But he didn't. He came to them as their servant. He is a great example for us. Being Christ's followers means being a servant of others. It requires a sacrifice of time and our own personal preferences. There's no room for Christian divas. Rather than promote our own importance... Let's instead serve others and help them grow in the faith. Let's take the time to discover their needs and concerns. Let's treat others' interests as more important than our own.
Today, why don't you think about the following question? How do you feel about serving people who don't live up to your expectations? And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another battle drill. We hope you have been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for our next daily devotional, Battle Drill. God bless you.